So the TV comes with two remote controls. The one on the right, of course, is the original that came with the TV. Power button, input, volume, um, buttons are the ones that you would most likely use, but really you don't have to use this remote because everything can be done by using the white remote that comes with the Google Chromecast stick that is attached to the back of the TV. That gives you all your services. So first of all, let me tell you about how to power this thing on and off. Down at the bottom left is the power button, on and off. You can also turn it on by simply pressing into the middle of the navigation at the top of the remote. You cannot turn the TV off doing that though. So again, power button. As you can see, the TV has turned on, the service has begun. Um, let me get back to the remote here. Uh, the arrow point to the left, that's going to be likely your most used button other than uh, the navigation. So it's back. It's one step back. Anytime you press this, it goes one step back from the move you just made. Uh, below it, there is the home key. That will get you back to the landing page or the home page. And uh, that is helpful, of course. You often want to do that. But if you do that, you will have to go back a few steps to get back to your apps, whereby if you use a back button, it just simply takes you one step back. The black button is to, um, to activate the Google Assistant. You may or may not use that according to your preference. The mute button, of course, the YouTube and Netflix um, automatic buttons. And the last button is down here, bottom right. And that simply shows you the inputs that are available on the TV. That is pretty much the same as the input, sometimes known as the source button on a remote control. So let's get to how to navigate the system. So as you can see, the, the landing page comes up or the home page comes up and you have the navigation across the top. I will recommend that you go straight to apps. You can go to apps that way or simply go down to the apps on the home page. I would recommend you first go over to see all and oh, hang on, go back. <laughs> see how important that is apps. I would recommend you go to see all select that. And by the way, one of the things about the remote control, the reason why it didn't go directly to where I want is because sometimes my fat thumbs, and I may not be the only one, may press or go to select in the middle, but fat fingers will bleed into the other parts of the navigation. So I probably press down on the back, or rather down button instead of the middle, which is okay. So that's important to know. That's why the back button comes in very handy because that is very easy to do. Okay. All right. So let's get back to the apps. As you can see, there's all kinds of streaming apps here. Um, feel free to sign in to whatever apps you have subscriptions to that you want to use. Obviously you see the sports as well as the streaming um, options here. Uh, let me tell you what is free. Oh, by the way, uh, do remember to sign out of your apps um, before checking out. If you don't, um, you know, we let us know. Or actually, you can usually just disconnect it from your app. Um, if we notice it, we'll remind you. But uh, please do remember to to do that if you could. All right. So there are some free ones on here as well. Gem and CBC News are from CBC and it is free. Uh, Gem has a range of broadcasting that comes from CBC. There's both live and um, saved libraries of um, different shows. CBC News, of course, is all about news. So take your preference. Tubi here, if you have not used it before, is a free streaming app. Uh, like other streaming apps, it has movies and television series. Uh, the only difference, it is like 
TV in that it has ads. It doesn't have as many ads as um, a standard TV channel has, but it does have apps, uh, or rather, it does have ads in buried into the uh, the movies and the TV series. You have Amazon Music and Spotify here, um, reality TV. Now, again, free iHeart Radio. You can listen to radio. And you also have services that we have signed into our cable service um, for your use. So enjoy these. The CTV and rather, CTV and Global Apps have a whole family of channels. And over here, Sportsnet is also signed in. You may see uh, sign in for, for more programs when you're going through these apps. Um, it wouldn't make a difference even if you clicked on it because you're already signed in. So just enjoy them. So Sportsnet is there for live uh, sports as well as for highlights and replays, etc. So let me just show you the CTV app here so you understand what is there. Uh, of course, you can navigate right along the top there. On air shows you what is live right now on their family of stations. So as you can see, there's uh, CTV2, CTV, um, comedy, drama, sci-fi, etc. Um, if you go to the home, you can also see the variety of stations that they have. Throwback movies, sci-fi, drama, life, snackable, much. Uh, so if you just simply select one of them, you will go straight to their channel. And uh, of course, all the options available there. Um, back to home. If I go again, use the back button, it takes me back to home. I can go down and take a look at all the various options available. Again, there's a sign in with your subscription. I'm now selecting OK, and it makes no difference because you're already signed in. So just enjoy. Uh, there we go. The global app that also has a family of stations. Very similar navigation to the uh, CTV. Um, as you can see, you have global, history, food, HGTV, the W Network, Slice, Showcase, National Geographic, and Adult Swim. Again, instead of using Home, I'm just simply going back. It takes me back to the app, so I don't need to navigate back from the home page to this. The last thing I want to show you is a weather network that is there. For your enjoyment, it usually lands, if you'll notice, on the left-hand side of the page when it comes up. Um, it usually lands on videos. Uh, right at the top, you will see Wellington, which is a local forecast. It is, it is the first um, search that is saved, and that's why that one comes up. If you want to find others, just simply navigate up to the little search button select that oh, let me select that and you'll notice that it is listening as you can see by what is typing into the search box so i will go over by going to the right then go back if i want to activate it again and then press select wellington And up would come all sorts of Wellington options. And then I would select that if that's what I wanted. Now I'm going to go back again. Oops, very easy to <laughs> get right out of the app, out of the app. So um, let me just show you this final thing and then we will close this video. When you're searching, Do not say Wellington, Ontario, as that will produce no results. So whenever you do a search, um, just say the city. Anything else will come up with no results. 
You'll notice down here we have some saved locations already. Wellington, Picton, Bloomfield, all the uh, the local area um, spots that you might want to visit. There's Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Kingston, Belleville, and just search anything else that you may desire. Okay, so that is it. The only other thing to mention is that you might um, want to cast to the... Uh, to the TV from your phone or device, uh, whether you're watching um, some something that is on your phone, your own video, or one of the uh, the other apps that you're using, you can just simply cast as this TV is ready to pick it up. You will notice the option that comes up will be TV. Just click on that, and uh, there you go. All right, uh, enjoy yourself, and uh, oh, one final thing. There are lamps in the house that are connected to, to timers. Uh, so when it is on the, the right, it is timer activated. When it is on the left, it goes back to normal function. Okay, that's it. Enjoy. Bye for now.